So you will all recall that there were a bunch of well-to-do people that were busted and rounded up by the FBI in the recent past for cheating their ch children into colleges. Um, basically, what happened is they um, they bribed officials. They in various cases because there were various people who did various things. So they uh, faked they faked college um, they faked college sports to get promoted they they arrange the SATs to be taken in a more favorable place or more favorable environment and all kinds of things and so the first person has been sentenced over this and so we're going to read the article US actress Felicity Huffman Huffman has been sentenced to 14 days in prison for her involvement in a college admission scandal desperate housewife star admitted to paying $15,000 to have her daughter's exams answers secretly corrected in 2017. She must also pay 250 hours of community service and pay a $30,000 fine. Parents and athletic coaches were among 50 people charged in the scheme, but none of the children were indicted. There are no excuses for my actions, period, Huffman said in a statement after sentencing. I'd like to apologize to my daughter, my husband, my family, and the educational community for my actions. And I especially want to apologize to students who work hard every day to get into college and their parents who make tremendous sacrifices supporting their children. Judge Indria Tawana says she believes Huffman accepted full responsibility for her actions, but trying to be a good mother does not excuse what she did. She must report to prison six weeks. Prosecutors asked for a month in prison and a $20,000 fine. The parents charged in the college scam investigation allegedly paid bribes had exams altered and even had their children edited into stock photos to fake sporting talents on applications. Prosecutors said they managed to fraudulently secure spots for the teenagers at elite U.S. universities, including Yale, Georgetown, and Stanford. Hoffman pleaded guilty to mail and honest services fraud in May. She's the first parent to be sentenced in the scandal. Her legal team asked for a year of probation in lieu of jail time, 25, 250 hours of community service, and a $20,000 fine. But the prosecutor wrote in a memo last week that near probation or home confinement would constitute meaningful punishment or deter others from similar crimes. What did Huffman do? Huffman worked with the scam's confessed mastermind, William Singer, to falsify Colin's entrance exam score for her oldest daughter, Sof Sophia Macy. Singer arranged for Sophie to take her SAT score in test ATs in a special location an exam widely used by college admissions. Her result was a major improvement over her previous score. Who would have thought? In a letter to the judge, Huffman wrote, In a desperation to be a good mother, I talked myself into believing that all I was doing was giving my daughter a fair shot. She has a strange concept of the word fair, but let's press on. I now see the irony in that statement because what I've done is the opposite of fair. I broke the law, deceived the educational community, betrayed my daughter, and failed my family. Huffman said in her letter to the judge that her daughter had been unaware of the fraud and was devastated to learn of it. The actress wrote, when my daughter looked at me and asked me with tears streamed down her face, why didn't you believe in me? Why didn't you think I could do it on my own? I had no adequate answer for her. I could only say I'm sorry. I was frightened and I was stupid. In my blind panic, I had done the exact same thing I was desperate to avoid. I compromised my daughter's future, the wholeness of my family, and my own integrity. Prosecutors said Huffman made arrangements to have Singer cheat for her younger daughter as well, as, as well before deciding against it. Huffman's husband, actor William H. Macy, has still had contact with Singer, though Mr. Macy was spared charges. Though Huffman was among the most highly profiled people indicted, she paid among the small sums of money, allegedly doled out. Lori Lohan, another actress installed in Scandal, has pled not guilty to paying $500,000 in bribes to have their daughters accepted to the University of Southern California as members of the rowing team. So that is all we have on that story. So there's a couple items of interest of note as far as the law goes. First, this goes to one of what Leonard often says about better to, to eat crow while it's young and tender. So, you know, if you know you're going down, it often pays to, um, to fess up and try to strike a deal early. So I think she got a lot of leniency in her deal because she came forward and accepted responsibility, accepted things. I mean, these crimes... As my memory serves, mail fraud in particular, I think faces up to 20 years in jail. It's a very serious offense. Um, so, you know, to get just um, a couple, 14 days in prison, obviously, 
a, a huge break over that. Now, of course, 20, 20 years is the maximum, and there's the whole, like, how th prison terms are rated based on prior offenses, severity of offenses, and all the rest of it. So she was never going to face 20 years in prison. But, you know, for her to get 14 days in prison, have to pay a fine, do community service, seems like a reasonable restitution, all things considered. So that is the end of that story.